So I was watching TV, and like 90% of the time when I turn on my TV, I just sit there and wonder why the fuck do I pay for this? Anyway, all of a sudden I see this fucking stupid Geico commercial where there's a camel and he's in an office. Hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? And you know what? Even describing it makes me lose my fucking will to live. So I'm thinking to myself, what a fucking shitty commercial. Fuck Geico. No one wants to see this horrible fucking shit. But you know what? I'm wrong. People do want to see this horrible fucking shit because the same exact commercial has 14 million fucking views on YouTube. 73,000 positive ratings. What? Really, humanity? A, a fucking car insurance commercial starring a talking camel. That's really like, hey guys, you gotta see this fucking car insurance commercial with a talking camel! <laughs> so fucking funny! <laughs> so here's my impression of the commercial. I'm an annoying talking camel! Buy car insurance from Geico! Uh, leave me alone. Switch to Geico! Save money with Geico! Fuck off! Okay, you don't like the camel? How about a gecko? Or a pig? Or a caveman? Or this fucking guy? We don't care, just buy our fucking car insurance, you stupid, daft, brain-dead cunts. I mean, like, seriously, fuck you, Geico. I don't even want your insurance. I don't care if it was the best fucking insurance and it was a dollar a century. I still wouldn't fucking buy it because you have literally tortured me with these fucking commercials. And apparently, you've used some form of subliminal mind control to trick people into thinking they like this one. This piece of shit starring the camel that makes me wonder where the fuck is Conan the Barbarian when you need him. Fourteen million views. Wow. If all if I knew all I needed to get fourteen million views was a talking camel, I'd have done it a long time ago. How about this? Hey there, I'm Larry, the talking camel. I'm apparently pretty fucking lovable. I used to sell cigarettes, but then I sold car insurance, and now I'm selling the amazing atheist. So subscribe, like his video, follow him on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. Tumblr? Seriously, he has a Tumblr? Does he also have a purse full of tampons? Anyway, he wrote this book, and he'd really like you to buy it. And he has t-shirts. What next? An amazing atheist cheese grater? Now, yeah, well, anyway, buy his shit. I'm a fucking camel. Obey me.